Hello students, so welcome back to yet another important session from Sandpoint Balagami. This is Priyanka, good to see you again here. In this particular video, I will be giving you the detailed analysis of PWD AE technical question paper. So very in-depth analysis I will be doing and once we know the analysis, then we can make the strategy for the preparation of all these subjects very systematically. So in my earlier video, I had done the detailed analysis of the syllabus of PWD AE, JE, Technical and GS and I also told ki how it is different from the KPSC syllabus. So then first note is that this will be very much easy for you guys to understand. So now let's start with the analysis of the 2019 PWD AE technical question paper. So the very first subject which I am taking here is public health engineering which is your environmental engineering. So if you see clearly 21 questions appeared from this from this particular subject. So from water supply 13 questions appeared and the questions were from pH, hardness, sedimentation, disinfection. And from sanitary engineering that is from wastewater engineering 8 questions appeared that is from BOD, activated sludge process and trickling filter. So now let's take up with the second subject. See later on at the end I will tell you how this analysis is very much important. So now let's take up with the second subject that is advanced structures. So if you see the syllabus properly, the first five topics belongs to strength of materials and the next topics are from structural analysis. So other than the new proper again understand Marco Veko, don't go with that notion ki what is this advanced structure. See it is not at all new. Whatever you have studied the same thing is there. So it is strength of materials which you have studied in third semester of engineering and next is structural analysis from sixth topic. Okay, and some students are asking whether it is from SA1 or SA2. See, I don't know how the video syllabus is there, whether you have only one SA subject or two SA subject. So, you just check the syllabus and you need to prepare accordingly. So, now let's see about this paper analysis very much clearly. So, from strength of materials, 33 questions appeared. So, that is from simple stress and strain, 9 questions. SFD and BMD, 6 question. Principal stress and strains, 7 question. Deflection, 8 questions. From truss, three questions and no questions had appeared from column, torsion, pressure vessels and springs. Alright, so now let's take up the next subject that is structural analysis. So here if you see six questions appeared from this particular subject, that is two questions from influence line diagram, one from arches, two from fixed end moments and from suspended cable, one question. So now let's take up the next subject that is bridges. So if you see here, you can see three different subjects that is hydrology, irrigation and bridges. So hydrology, yes, whatever the first part is there in the syllabus, that is your hydrology. But when you see that lacy formula, so that is the part of explanation when we carry out the different surveys needed for the selection of the site or as well as the design of the bridges. So there we use the concept of this uh, lacy score depth for the design of the foundation. So you can take it as irrigation separately or you can consider that even as the which is included in bridges. So now let's take up the first subject in this bridges that is hydrology. So if you see two questions appeared from this one from unit hydrograph and the another one from rational formula and next from irrigation or you can add up in bridge only that is one question appeared from less is score depth. And next from bridges four questions appeared. So uh, like questions from suspension bridge and from IRC code. See from uh, bridges you can expect lot of questions which are from like numerical data type you can say. So values in R type questions rather, rather than calculation and all. So now let's take up the next subject that is roads. So which we call as highway engineering. So 21 questions appeared from this. That is eight, two questions appeared from highway development and various types of surveys. Seven questions from geometric design, three questions from pavement design and six questions from pavement maintenance and construction, two questions from subsurface drainage and one question from parking probability. So if you see the syllabus, they haven't clearly mentioned about parking or traffic engineering, something like that. So when you can see the words, okay, you can see the syllabus now. So like intersection, rotary, something like that, that means entire your traffic engineering is also there. So study right from the basic surveys of all the various data, then analysis of that parking everything. Okay, even like traffic flow theory also you have to study signal 
everything if you study you are in safer set okay so if you want you can skip see whatever the information i give so it's up to you whether you take that input or not so the but the one who want to study really seriously and who want to cover or try answering all the questions so that's uh, so such kind of students should concentrate on all these minor topics also so that's why i made it very clear in my previous video when i was discussing syllabus that do not see just the word in the syllabus rotary intersection at nodudu adar bagge google dag nodudu athwa book olaga adar dashta nodudu if you prepare no because to design the rotary you need traffic volume you need speed you need the concept of pcus everything you need so that's why you should know all that information before studying the rotary intersection just one small example kotte nane maga so this explanation holds good for all the topics in the entire syllabus okay so hope you are understanding what i am trying to say in depth agi proper agi odri this is good for you only okay na so now let's take up the next subject that is construction technology and management so if you see the syllabus this finds to be little different and also yes i agree like this is advanced because students have studied from cpm pert and construction equipments and all but all other topics are little different okay so i have only covered this subject in our video lectures so i have taught each and every topic whatever is mentioned in this particular syllabus okay so if you see the previous year question paper then 11 questions appeared from ctm so five from cpm and pert one from quantitative methods of construction and one from construction economics and finance that is from uh, rate of return or salvage value or all one chapter itla adar mele indaiti and one question on inventory two questions on in uh, equipments and one question on rehabilitation that is on scaffolding and one more question if you see in the question paper they had asked on track modulus which is with respect to railway engineering so if you see this track modulus i have taught in railway engineering actually but here you can consider this question in bridge because in bridges they have mentioned design of rail bridge and design of highway uh, highway bridge so other samanda again you need to know little bit basic concepts of railway engineering if not all like just the geometric design or cross section of that ballast all those things solve nimaga can to so avella gottidre it's good for you so even if you miss these kind of questions again agale irrigation ditto but i have taught that in bridges only but in the railway track modulus so you nella skip madidru no problem because no student will answer all 100 questions in any competitive exams so you concentrate on the major subjects okay so this is what the analysis i wanted to show but now i will tell you what is the importance of this analysis ma'am yaduk bekri will this pattern follow for the next exam no we are not sure the reason for doing this particular analysis is whatever the syllabus you have seen you have only one question paper of this syllabus so that's why that question paper you can take it as the benchmark it's not like na adun one question paper na refer madidnara i can score really well nothing like that so just to one nimage one strategy because i always tell you i give you the strategies i give you the inputs so it's up to you how you implement these strategies when you are preparing for any of the competitive exams okay na so now coming to the biggest question ma'am whether they will ask again 33 questions from song or whether they will ask 21 questions from som or they have asked only 11 questions from ctm ma'am it is not 11 questions ctm ka oda bahal kami ait nimaga so sulp syllabus ge 11 questions in som you have to study like hell so that's why 33 questions appeared environment one the normal aithe so that's why 21 questions so as per my opinion what i personally feel is they had given equal weightage for all the subjects considering the syllabus of individual subjects telithala na helodu ctm ge est hours spend martiri som ge est hours spend martiri e hours e hours marks they have kept it same it's not like uh, they have given less weightage for bridge they have given less weightage for hydrology nothing like that because whatever the syllabus is there with respect to that they have given the weightage which means again the weightage of that is more okay so i always suggest students to start with the easy subject so that you will be little psychologically relaxed because that psychological feeling is very much important when you are preparing for any of the competitive exam so whichever subject you find easy so if you guys are more interested in numerical kind of subjects and if you are strong in basics of all these forces stress strains and all 
then start with psalm illru ma'am namak psalm andra hedrike baradate tell me other subject so it's better if you start with highway engineering because you have very good theory as well as numericals so same way for environmental engineering also like you have theory as well as numericals so start with such subjects so that it will be easy and most of the students are getting panic about bridge or ctm i am not getting the notes something like that so don't worry like we have covered each and everything i have only taught bridges and ctm in our video lectures so each and every topic we have covered and you guys feel like ma'am na first bridge othunu ctm othunu see bridge you, if you had studied during engineering because some of you have taken elective okay so if you have done that during engineering then start with bridge or else it's always suggested to start with uh, to complete the subjects of first environmental engineering song highway structural analysis then go with bridges and this one okay na so now i will tell you like how many hours you have to devote for every subject if you are doing self study see i will be explaining you in two concepts like for the students who will be doing self study as well as the students who have joined the course because lot of students are joining daily for pwd classes so i am not able to interact with them individually so and many are of uh, of you are also planning so that's why i am explaining this as well in detail so guys now if you want to do self study so most of the students are getting panic ke ma'am exam can be conducted within two months how will i complete the syllabus see there is no need of panicking because this syllabus is even less than your pg ct okay na so hedrud necessary illa bare adond wide ashta torsaru but once you start preparing alla it will go with the flow actually because new astond involve agi you should study i always tell preparation is similar to that of devotion so new devar gudi olag hogi yestu new shant reetinda yesto tanaka devar nenasteri that much you will feel relaxed you will be involved in that so same devotion you have to show when you are studying so you should never divert when the notification bathu when whatsapp message bathu phone daga adu nodudu madidra see such kind of students i say that you should never choose the path of this competitive exams so don't do that it's a waste of your time as well as money okay so bahar devotion beku aa devotion le maadre so now coming to the students who want to do self study so what i feel is you can complete entire technical in 40 days at the max so how it is you can you should devote 8 days for all the major subjects like for environmental structural analysis song highway engineering so 8 into 4 is 32 days plus 5 days for bridge 5 days for ctm so 42 days so in 42 days you can easily cover the entire syllabus all right so i always try giving you the practical suggestion as well as i always talk with the facts so assumption le adu enu illa because 8 days are more than enough to complete all these major subjects see again you have to bifurcate as i always tell when you are devoting 8 days for highway engineering so first day what you are studying second day what you are studying third day what you are studying so you have to plan all that on the day one only our topic ig avattin plan prakar mugililla andre you should not sleep that day that is how you have to devote and you should study so with this plan if you do you can cover the entire syllabus even if you are doing self study within 45 days or 42 days you can take and also how you are studying that matter slot whether you are uh, like uh, going through any pdfs or whether you are having books or whether you have attended the coaching already and you are referring your notes so all that also plays major role and that will increase the pace of your preparation now coming to the students who have joined our course as well as who are planning to join our course in future so entire all this technical whatever the subjects i told seven technical subjects so this covers around 120 hours of the entire course so if you can devote 4 hours per day for this 120 hours so in 30 days you can complete the entire syllabus see again i am giving you the practical solution that is bury 4 hours of recorded classes new nodbeku in 30 days so is tare new odabeku for any competitive exams illre ma'am namu 4 hours agudilla even if you watch 3 hours of recorded classes per day so you can complete this entire syllabus in 40 days okay so it's up to you that's why i told you because most of the students are asking me that 
madam they will conduct exam in two months or something like that see whatever it is if you do the preparation very systematically then you can cover the syllabus and also i am telling you this is the practical solution okay so istadru new time devote madle beku bari 1 hour 2 hour new madina madutnandre it is not possible for any of the exams and also one good thing of pwd is syllabus is very less okay so and the subjects are easy because many students are panicking see subjects are very easy i am telling you there are no difficult subjects like fluid mechanics or hydraulics or open channel flow or geotech engineering or theory subjects so there are nothing all the subjects are very different highway is different environment is different som is different essay is different bridge is different then ctm is different so all the subjects are different so you will never get bored in studying all these subjects so by this i have given the right justification for like whether by doing self study or by joining the classes how you can complete the syllabus of technical in at the max 40 days so now i will give you the justification of the fees what we are charging so whatever the fees you guys are paying for pwd ae technical so if you calculate that you are spending around 1 rupee per minute that's it not more than that so you can do the calculation also if you want okay so by that you will get like 1 rupee per minute so if you feel yes spending 1 rupee per minute for my future it is really worth then i really suggest you guys to join the classes because all the topics are very very systematically covered and you have test series also in that and you will save lot of time in hunting for the pdfs or printed materials or books or whatever it is so i personally feel like this is the easy way of preparation because during this time you should find whichever is easy for me if you guys are comfortable because some of the students called me ma'am i cannot watch the video lectures because i have eyesight problem so i can study the books okay fine so whichever you find it more comfortable if you find books then i suggest you guys to start with the books do not delay if you don't have such issues then then join the course and start watching the video lectures wherein we have given lot of tips in between also and lot of numericals have been also solved very much clearly so you guys should remember that every journey start with a single step okay so a single step new heng idtire your life will take you in that direction only remember that so our first step new wrong itrandra that will change the entire scenario of your life okay so be very much cautious in taking that first step and don't forget i am always there to help you to decide in which direction you have to take that first step so that you should not repent after traveling the long journey of your life yes students so this is what i wanted to share so hope whatever the information i am sharing in every video so they are benefiting you i suggest you guys to start the journey with sam point by clicking the link in the description and make your life very beautiful and shape your career in the right direction all the best